Praises when I'm doubting. Praise is a weapon. Come on, clap your hands. Hallelujah. We're going to take it from the top. Mm-hmm. I praise in the valley. Praise on the mountains. Yeah. Praise when I'm sure. Praise when I'm doubting. Come on, clap those hands. Praise when I'm numbered. Praise when surrounded. Oh. I'm yeah. hearing it. We're going to take it from the top again. Clap your hands, church. Come on. One, two. Say. Praise in the valley. Praise, praise on the mountain. mountain. I'll praise when I'm sure. I praise when I'm sure. I'll praise. I praise when I'm down. Oh, praise is a number. Praise when I'm number. I praise when surrounded. Praise is the water. Praise is the water. My enemy drowning. As long as I'm breathing. As long as I'm breathing. I've got a reason to praise the Lord. Oh my soul. Somebody praise him. Oh my soul I won't be quiet I won't be quiet My God is alive How can I keep it inside? I won't be quiet I won't be quiet My God is alive How can I keep it inside? I'll praise when I feel it I'll praise when I don't Come on team, I'll praise cause I know Sit I praise cause I know There's healing in control Praise is a weapon Praise is a weapon It's more than a sound Come on somebody say praise is a shout Praise is a shout That brings joy That brings joy go down As long as I'm breathing sit. As long as I'm breathing You say I've got a reason to pray Praise the Lord, oh my soul. Somebody clap your hands and say, Praise the Lord, oh my, oh my soul. I won't be quiet, I won't be quiet. My God is alive. How could I keep it inside? I won't be quiet, I won't be quiet. My God is alive. Hallelujah. How could I keep it inside? Come on, let's do verse two again. I praise when I feel it. I praise when I don't. Come on, somebody say, I praise because I know. Praise because I know. That he's still in control. Oh, praise is a weapon. Praise is a weapon. Praise the Lord, oh my 
so I won't be quiet I won't be quiet my God is alive how could I keep it inside Say, I won't be quiet my God is alive testify how could I keep it inside somebody declare that say I won't be silent my God is alive how could I keep it inside I won't be silent I won't be silent my God is alive how could I keep it inside can we lift our hands one last time and say praise the Lord oh my soul one last time say praise somebody just praise him this morning hallelujah if you know your God to be worthy hallelujah thank God for the praise team that uh, is doing so well Praise God. One of the, apart from their faithfulness, they are very consistent. We thank God for them. Amen. This is a throne of God. You may be seated, please. Praise God, Brother King. I want to turn up the horse, you know. You need to hear myself. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, that sounds better. If you have not yet got a copy of the kingdom of God and the human race, you need to get one. It's in the bookstore, the bookshop. It's very affordable. Yeah. Apart from bringing out the mysteries of the kingdom, also has kingdom prayer points where things that are done within the church of the living God has to do with the operation of the kingdom of God you um, that that's what you need you, you really have to understand um, from what the scripture says you could not be born again if the kingdom of God was not in operation you have to, you, you, you you have to understand that um, it's, it wouldn't be possible. You'll find that in the new covenant that God has made with the human race. The Bible is not a book of sermon. It's a constitution of a kingdom. It's not a book of sermons. We we choose different passage to explain how God is operating in this present age, not in the Old Testament time. That's a dispensation that is past. How God is operating at this time with those who believe and trust in him. Can I get an amen? It's a good place for you to say amen. If you don't trust and believe in God, he can't do anything for you. Hello? We need to make some clarifications because there are so many untruths so many 
different kind of foolishness being put forth in the name of God. Yeah? That doesn't make sense. It doesn't help you. It's more confused Christian church than anything else. Then they have all these false prophets coming up. Hello? Who are prophesying all kind of foolishness. Hello? <laughs> Prophesy all kind of foolishness. This is what this is what God said. God said it said it like this. The law and the prophet were until John. Since then the kingdom of God is preached and all men press into it. You want to know where that is found? You need to because you need to write that down because you listen to so much stupid foolishness on the, tele on the internet world prophet that you need to know. Matthew chapter 11 See, we have a problem with the internet here. Matthew chapter 11. Okay, let, let, let's get the context right. Verse 11 of Matthew chapter 11. Is it possible? Do you have internet to put it up there? Matthew chapter 11 and verse 11. But it says, Verily, that word means truly. We have to get another version than the King James, you see. I say to you, among them that are born of women, there, is, there hath not risen. Greater than who? John the Baptist. Notwithstanding, he that is. You see, you don't want to read that part because you don't believe it. Notwithstanding, he that is what? In where? In the kingdom of heaven is what? Is greater than John. That, that, that's what is happening because of the Christian church around you. You are not understanding the gospel that Jesus Christ preaches is different from what the Christian church is preaching. Christian church are preached Old Testament. We don't do that. I don't preach the Bible. I preach the kingdom of God that is in the Bible. Write that down. Anyway, you tell him, yeah, my bishop don't preach the Bible. He preached the kingdom of God that is in the Bible. Because some people find some old crackhead something put to find some kind of a interpretation to make you feel good that don't have anything to do with you. You just want to feel good. You are not created to take information through you emotion. God gave you a mind. Hello? God gave you a what? We say we have the mind of, the Bible said we have the mind of Christ. We have the mind of who? You know that creation, let me tell you something about creation, which is the universe. What you are looking at is, is the stars and, and things that moon and sun and mountain and sea and all that kind of thing. Did you know that creation, all of creation came from the mind of God? God spoke from what is in his mind. Hello? 
Whenever God wants anything, he what? He speaks. Hello? And it is done. So it came from his mind. And the Bible says you need to renew your, not remove it. People go to church and remove their mind and they have some old false prophet who tell them all kind of stupidness that muddle their minds and confuse their mind. Hello? You need to what with your mind? Renew the mind. That's the work of the Holy Spirit. Are you in the house? So greatest I tell you the truth of all who have ever lived all who have ever lived none is greater than John the Baptist hello it means the fearers who have conquered nations. It means Moses who have released God used to deliver the people of Israel from Egypt. It means Elijah. Hello. You're not listening to the Bible. What the Bible said. All who have ever lived, none is greater than who? The King James got it very, um, very profound because um, the King James said, Well, I say unto you among them that are born of women, they hath not risen greater than John the Baptist. You have heard of any great men? Nebuchadnezzar? Hello? Pharaoh? None of them is greater than who? John the Baptist. Yet! Yet, you have to listen to this. Yet, he that is what? Least where in the kingdom of heaven is greater than who? Because it is the Christian church, oh, we have done plain people who listen to them, you know. Not, not here. This is not the Christian church. This is the church. This is not the Christian church. This is the way. The church. God didn't create a Christian church, you know. He created the. All right. You don't know that yet, but you'll soon get it. The Christian church is running after heaven to live. And that's not in the Bible. Jesus didn't say, on this rock I create the Christian church. He didn't say that. On this rock will I build my, my church. And the gates of hell shall not what? Prevail against it. And he, and, and he gave you the reason why the gates of hell cannot prevail, you know. I give you the what? The keys, the word keys mean the authority of the of the kingdom that gives you the right to bind and to loose, to disallow and to prohibit things from operating in your environment. You have more power than the devil. So don't let the Christian church teach foolishness to you. What is not in the Bible? Hello? Hello? Christian church preach poverty, poverty, sickness, calamity, trouble, crosses. What does they teach you? Weakness. What does they teach you? You remember what they used to teach you before you come into the kingdom? Mm. Hello? I was there, you know. I was there until God delivered me from it. If God didn't deliver me from that, I would not be here. 
in a building that God has raised up to declare the gospel of Jesus Christ and his kingdom. Are you there? Mm. I don't want to be preaching one thing and you're doing something else because you're because of your Christian friend and where God some other church will tell you about you you soon go home to be with the Lord going home you go home to be with the with the Lord because that that is one of the ingredients that has hinder the belief of people in the church in the sense that death sickness and death is preached so hard yeah that we prepare more for death than for transition into the glory that God has for us hello oh yes um, I have some friends um, in the States. The only time they call me when they tell me there's somebody dead at Jamaica. My God. We tell him not to not tell me that me no one that that's not good for me. So they stop calling me. They are calling for telling about dead. I don't want to hear about no dead man. That is something that all of us have to go through. Hello? Somebody dead and we take two, three months to bury the person. And we are ball and they use the dead to get money. Yeah, yeah. Hello? Because that, that's, what is, that's what happens to the church. We grow, we grow old and we die. If Christ don't come back, all right? We, we grow old and we die when you said he or she is gone home to be with the Lord home is not in the Bible you know the Bible said they gone to be with the to be absent from the body is to be present with the with the Lord you know gone home God heaven is not your home that is not in the Bible that, that is what happened to most people. Oh, you're going home, you know. No, you're not going home. You're going to be with the Lord. And if you read the Bible carefully, the Lord will come back. Hello? And you have to come back with him because you were not created to... Can anybody understand what this bishop is saying in what I'm saying is on the airwaves, you know, everywhere. God, I come to make a change. I'm making a mark that can't be erased. You never know that. Hmm. Home is not in it. We put home so, so that we can comfort those that are weeping and bawling as if they have no hope. <laughs> what Paul said. When one day you must not weep as if you have no what? Hope. How oh, Jesus put it. This is how Jesus put it. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. Now watch this carefully. Because what most people in the Christian church don't understand is that the first resurrection is when you believe in Jesus Christ and you are born again. Most of them don't, they, they think about dead body and then, no, no, that's not what he's talking about. You get eternal life, not when you're dead, you know. It's when you believe in Jesus Christ. He that had the son had the life. Let me see if I can get it because they don't seem to understand it. He says, I am the resurrection and I am the he that believe in me though you were spiritually dead in your trespasses and your sin yet you shall live and if you live believing you shall what say never die say it again never die 
Oh, that will you sting? Oh, you don't understand what I'm saying here. Oh, that will you sting? No sting of death is not there for the believer in Jesus Christ. Are you there with me, somebody? Jesus pulled out the sting a long time. Oh, that! The sting of death is what? Sin. And the strength of sin is the, is the law. But the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from how many sin? All sin. Because there's power in the blood. Hello. I don't know if we are understanding who we are. This is not an ordinary little church that God brought up here, you know. I won't tell you where he took me from to, so, so that I could stand here to tell you about the kingdom. I wouldn't even tell you where. Have you ever, before I come along, have you ever met anybody else like me? Preaching kingdom? Because I come to tell you the beginning of the end is near. The beginning of the who? end is near Jesus said there shall be wars rumors of wars virus, pestilence and all these kind of things that is not a sign of the end that is the beginning of what? sorrows but when this gospel of the kingdom is preached in all the world as a witness to all nations then the end shall what? Are you in the house with me? You know, so that is not the message. What we're talking about, the, the least in the what? Is greater than who? And who is greater than Moses? Who is greater than Pharaoh? Who is greater than Nebuchadnezzar? Who is great? Are you there with me? Look at somebody and tell him, I am great. Oh, <laughs> I tell people that they say you're proud <laughs> but it's not you said it actually you know it's what the bible said about you it's what the bible said about ah, about me it said we are in not a little cheap salvation you know This salvation is great. Is what? Say it like you mean it, man. Say great. Great. That we are talking about, man. Great salvation. Not a little cheap salvation. The common narrative of the Christian church is that God save you to take you to heaven to live with him all right and if i should ask you why jesus came to earth you would tell me he came to save sinners from their sin all right while there is an element of truth in that that's not all he came to do hello I'm talking to you, you know, I, I mean, there's an anointing on me to talk to you, you know. That's not all he came to do. The original mandate that God promised to the human race and unto Satan, the original mandate, why? Is why God is coming to the planet. According to Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. He said to Satan, because you have done this, I'm going to put enmity between your seed and the seed of the woman. And his seed shall bruise your head. Now the head is the 
central processing system hello of it, it, everything that God created has one head anything with two heads is a monster so the central processing system is the is the head when things wrong with your body then check your head to find out <laughs> alright he said I can't do anything right now because you have deceived Adam and Adam is quite dead and you have taken the human race under your control but I promise you there's going to be a rematch you win with Adam but I am coming myself wait wait a little bit no he's talking to an archangel that has rebelled you know by the name of Lucifer Lucifer is, had rebelled Lucifer led a rebellion of God's angel deceived one third of them to rebel against God right so the angelic realm was now divided where one third followed the devil Satan and two thirds stayed with God they decide to stay are you there God didn't compel them to stay they decide to stay and so they, when, when you read about principalities and powers all right, there's good principalities and there's bad principalities hello you need to know which one you're fighting against God the good one is actually fighting with you hello we rest not against flesh and blood but against all right the angelic realm was divided because of Lucifer then Lucifer took the rebellion further than the angel to come to the human race hello are you understanding me all right if you not understand me you have to play this again and again to understand he took the rebellion from the angelic realm to the human race and God said enough is enough you have contaminated the angels now you come to contaminate the human race and their what I have created for them because sin which is which is rebellion was now in the earth realm you know? it was not only men dying the animals were dying trees were dying the earth itself were dying we have deserts and all those things everything sin was contaminating both Adam and his what was created for him anybody in the house with me all right yeah when you say amen it means that you're, you're, you're hearing what I'm saying when you don't say amen I wonder if you're hearing and God said enough is enough now when he rebelled carry out a rebellion with the angels Michael the archangel took care of the situation you remember he said Michael and his angels fought and showed the devil and that kind of stuff right now what God was saying to Satan to Lucifer you have taken your rebellion to a level that you have no right to take it to because what you are doing is messing with the gods in your house with me let, let, you are messing with the who with the gods no, really, really, this is a sermon that religious people can listen to you know because you have to understand if you are created in the image and the likeness of God who are you because it's a small g but you still have the nature the DNA of God are you there with me that's what Adam had amen okay so you have, you have taken this to no and this, this, look, look 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 at the difference Michael was only able to throw out the devil because Michael is an archangel and Lucifer also is a 
is an arch, so it's to archangel against archangel. So he could not do anything more than throw him out. Are you there? But God, God said, Dev, Dev, you shouldn't have done that, man. You don't understand what you have done. All I need is an earth suit, you know. Hold on a little bit. All I need is an earth suit. The seed of the woman. Are you there with me? Is coming to do something that Michael couldn't do. I wonder, I wonder if these people are in the place with me. Are you hearing me, Sean? I said, the seed of the woman is coming to do something that Michael could not do. Is to bruise fatally, dismantle the headship. This is this is how the this is how the Bible put it in Hebrews chapter two. I think it's verse fourteen. He said, because the children were flesh and blood. Tell your neighbor he's talking about me. The Bible is talking about me. He likewise took part of the flesh and blood that through death he would destroy him that had the power of death. That is Lucifer. Hebrews chapter 2. Put it up there. Let us look at the context. Verse 14. For as much then as the children are partakers of what? Tell somebody the Bible is talking about me. He also himself, that is Jesus, you know. And Jesus, uh, that, that is Christ is God. Took part of the same flesh and blood. That's what it means. That through death, he might what? He might do what? It looks like you don't believe it. Say destroy. Say it like you mean it, man. Destroy who? Him that had what? Who is that? Underline it in your Bible and you need to read it. Are you there with me? You were chosen in Christ before the foundation of the world. You, know? you see, when you come here, you need to come here with your pen and your pencil and your book. You know, because what you hear, you're not going to hear anywhere else. You're in the house with me. You're sure you're in the house with me. So what the seed of the woman came to do, Michael the archangel could not do it. For unto us, and a son is, and the government, oh, come on, talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. That's what we are dealing with here. We are dealing with the kingdom. He destroyed. And that was 2,000 years ago at Calvary. You know? What the Christian church is doing is still preaching fear. Hello? Sickness. Poverty. Weariness. And how the devil trunk. Hello? Hello? I was talking to a lady some years ago, and she would dare tell me what the devil trunk, you know. Great devil do and the devil do that. And, and I said to her, so why in the devil is doing that? What God is doing? You need to ask them that when they talk about, when they tell you how strong the devil is. Are you there with me? Because we, hallelujah, were born again. And we carry the life of God. That's what God has done, you know. He has given what, what 
Adam gave away to the devil Jesus Christ brought it back to him to us as, as many as receive him to them gave he what power to do what to become what we have to understand a shift a change took place in the heavenlies when God came to the planet as a human being in the beginning was the who the word say word I mean logos and the word was with God and the word was that is John chapter 1 and verse 1 we're reading the same was in the beginning with watch this all things were made by who that is the word you know the yeah. witness don't know that all things were made by him and without him nothing were made without God I would never have existence oh no you know understand this something man. You, 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 we, we're just trying to be church people you can't just go to church and come from church when you come to this one this is something different that God has raised up in this, in, in this era to demonstrate the mysteries of the kingdom you understand All right. so if you want to go to your next one where they preach the other thing, thing them, you can't go on it's not a problem we shake your hand and tell you it was good to have you no and the word became what flesh Lord Jesus the word was made flesh like you and I and dwell among us oh hallelujah glory God what is man that you are mindful of him hallelujah they have made him a little lower than angel and you crown him with what glory and honor hallelujah and you set him over the what the works of your hand can somebody talk to me in the house hallelujah hallelujah when God raised me up he didn't tell me to come whisper the message you know so I'm to declare it with authority and demonstrate it with power hallelujah hallelujah we need to know what we are about here so since you are in the kingdom the least in the kingdom is greater than who who is greater than Moses? Who is greater than Pharaoh? Who is greater than Nebuchadnezzar? Who is greater than Caesar? Who is great? Are you in the house with me? I wonder if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> oh God. Oh my God. I feel something in the house here. Least in the kingdom. And watch this. And from the days, verse 12, from the days of who? Until when? Say right now. No, no, no. All right. <laughs> Hallelujah. The kingdom of heaven suffer what? And the violent do what? Because if you're not forceful, you know, you can't come at this church. Uh, you have to be forceful. Are you there with me? Because <laughs> you are above mediocre. You're above average when you come here. Because eternal life is not going to church. You know, anybody can go to church. Hello? Eternal life is coming into accurate knowledge of the Father and the Son. St. John chapter 17 and verse 3. You, you should underline that in the Bible every time I say it. And the word know is accurate.
accurate knowledge about God and about the Son. Are you there with me? So if you don't know, here it is, and this is life eternal that they might know, say no, say accurate knowledge. You, the only true God, and Jesus the Christ whom thou hast, so you need to know the Father and the, and the Son. That is eternal life. Why we have in all this kind of chaos and crisis and different kind of things in the Christian church is because they do not know the Father nor the, nor the Son. Say, neighbor, you need to grow in the knowledge of the Father and the Son. That is eternal life. You see, that will take you your lifetime to know God, you know. If you, if you live 150 years, you are still growing in the knowledge of God. You still don't know him. They are growing in the knowledge of him. Are you there? Do you hear what I'm saying? So your entire life, since you get saved, is coming, growing into the knowledge of the Father and the, and the Son. Let's go to Philippians chapter 3. And let us hear what the Apostle Paul had to say. Philippians chapter 3. He was giving his testimony of how he come to know the Lord. All right? All right. Um, <laughs> all right. Finally, my brethren, rejoice with how? You need to, you need to always what? No one says, no one comes and say, well, you know what? Somebody says something about me. If somebody says something about you, it's a good time for you to have a dance party. Just you and Jesus by yourself. Hello? But great is your reward. To write the same thing to you, to me indeed is not what? Grievous, but for you it is. Because you need to hear things over and over and over. Or it will slip and soon you forget what was said and you lose it. Go again. Up. Beware of dogs. Beware of evil. Beware of the concision. The concision means the circumcision. The Judaizers who go about circumcising people. For we are the circumcision which worship God in what? In spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. All right. We, we, we don't want to go all the way there. I want to go to where he said that I might know him. All right? It should be about in the middle of that chapter. Verse 10. There it is. To get the context, go to verse 9. And to be found in him not having mine own righteousness which is of the law but that which is through faith of Christ the righteousness which is of God by faith that I may know him that is Christ and the power of his who and the fellowship of his being made conformable unto his if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead now Paul want to know him. No, yeah, you have to understand this to know him. Paul had an encounter with Jesus Christ, right? That blinding. You remember that one? He had an encounter where he was going to persecute the, the, the Christian and Christ turned up in such bright light. 
that all he saw was the light but he heard the voice that's saying Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? The people need to be careful when they try to persecute the people of God. Are you there with me? They need to be what? Careful because they are actually persecuting the, the Lord Jesus. And he said, who are you? Lord. And that's what saved him. And he said, and the light, the hear the voice from the light, this great bright light of splendor and majesty said, I am Jesus who you're persecuting. And that's what made the difference in his life. Jesus, can't be the Jesus that we crucified. Yes, the same one. I am Jesus, the son of God. Are you, you sure you are there with me? I am Jesus, the one that you speak evil about. You are persecuting me. And he said, go down where you're going and it will be told to you what you must do. The very people that you are persecuting are going to tell you what you should do. Are you there? Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> he went. And one, one, one disciple told him, lay hands on him, his eyes open and told him what to do and baptize him and so forth. No. This is Saul whom God has commissioned to go to the Gentiles to bring the salvation that he has purchased to us. All right? Because the Jews would not come to us. But they did not consider us as <laughs> worthy of salvation. Right. And this Paul had laid hands on the sick. This same Paul had sent handkerchief from his body to sick people, to demon possessed people. Demons come out of people, sickness healed. This same Paul raised the dead. This same Paul drive out demons. This same Paul said, I still don't know him. I still want to know him. Are you there with me? Are you in the house with me? I still want to grow into the knowledge of the Son of God. I want to know him. Are you there with me? So don't, don't get the few little knowledge that you have in and think that you have, you have it made. No, no. You need to know him. You need to Grow into knowledge of him. You need to do what? Say neighbor. Knowledge is power. People are destroyed. For a lack of knowledge. That's right. Yeah, are you there with me? So. What you are hearing. Don't let it go to one year and come to the next you know. Because the man who heard the word of the kingdom and understand it not, Satan came and take away the word and he was unfruitful. He was what? Because he did not understand the word of the kingdom. Matthew chapter 13 and I think verse something 14 or so. He did not understand the word of the kingdom. So Satan came and took away the word. So you have to be careful. You know why the men are hindered by the devil to come? Today's men Sunday. And all of them should be on the front bench. Front chairs. Taking notes. You know why they are not here? Because Satan don't want another Roosevelt. Oh no, you don't get this thing. Because if they understand the gospel of the kingdom and begin to 
teach others. Once you understand the gospel of the kingdom, you don't care where you live, you know. Hello? You could live next door to an obia man. Oh, but you don't hear me. Would you not understand this thing? Once you understand the gospel of the kingdom, everything around you change, you know. Because kingdom is in operation account to how you speak. Hello. You go around speaking fear and sickness and weariness and poverty. No kingdom can operate for you. Because according to your word that come out of your mouth, the thing will operate. Hello, somebody. Woo. If you are, if you are religious, you're not going to be able to handle this, but... You have to understand you are greater because John was the greatest born of a, of a woman. Do you know how you get in the kingdom? You must be what? You must be born by the word and the spirit. You are born huh? again. Oh no. We don't understand this thing. You know how, how you get into the kingdom? You must be what? Let me see the hand. Let me see, boy, let me see the hands of those who are born again. As a matter of fact, stand up, let me see you. Because sometimes people don't, don't want to identify themselves. Let me see you. You're born again. Let me see you. Say thank you, Lord. You have chosen me before the foundation of the world and have created me in Christ Jesus. I thank you. I am the carrier of your DNA in the name of Jesus. I have more power than the devil. Because Jesus Christ is my elder brother and I am a joint heir with him. Everything he has, I have a part of it. I have some of the power. I have some of the glory. Hallelujah, give him praise. You may be seated, man. I'm not finished yet. I remember when <laughs> when I wanted to go to heaven, you know, and rest because the reason why I want to go to heaven and rest, that life down here was very hard and very difficult. And so I want to escape. and go to heaven and rest like most of you Lord. <laughs> until I understand what the Bible the covenant that God has made through the blood of Jesus that that covenant was about me are you there? We cannot equate God with poverty. You know? Because God has a city and his street is made out of what? So you can't equate God with poverty. Hello? So if you are in partnership with God, it means everything God has, you have a part of it. Hello? And God has given us everything. God has what? 
All right. Second Peter chapter one and verse three. Second Peter one and verse three. Look at it. It's up there. According as his divine power, say power, had given unto us all things. His power has what? His power has, divine power has what? Given unto us. His divine power has what? Given unto us. His divine power has done what? given unto us all things that pertain unto what? Life and godliness through the knowledge, through the what? Knowledge, not through the feeling. Through the what? Knowledge of him that has called us to what? Are you, are you there now? We, we, I don't want the Christian church narrative to come into this place, you know. We are the church of the living God. You know what? We are the what? You'll soon, you'll soon understand. You'll soon understand. It took me years before God has been trying to tell me something. Then it took me years before I could get it in my head that He did not create the Christian church. He created the. Wait, 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 look a bit. <laughs> you don't get it. God did not create the Christian church. He created the the church. God created the who? The church. The Bible was written to saints to believers to those of the way so as long as you are a believer the Bible is written to you let us look at the example of Paul 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 didn't want to be a good Christian you know? Hello? Paul was not pressing toward the mark of the price of a good Christian, you know. Can I talk to anybody? Say that again, let me help me. Paul was not pressing toward the mark of the price of a good Christian. The, the who? I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ. Hello, somebody. Are you there with me? Because what you need to understand once you begin to keep company with chicken, you are in danger. You need to keep company with eagles. Are you in the house with me? man who had he had this farm and he was he went out into his farm um, the mountain area and he found an egg brought the egg home and put it with the the, 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 the hens in the coop yeah the hen The egg was now ready to become, as it were, a chicken. So, this chicken 
look different from the rest. A chicken. But the chicken scratch just like other chicken. It's an eagle egg, you know. The eagle egg like every other chicken. If the eagle hear a noise, he run along with every other chicken. Until one day he saw an eagle way up in the sky. He want to find out what kind of chicken is that. So that's not a chicken, that's the king of birds. And one day the eagle came down and the eagle on the ground saw the eagle that came down. The eagle attract and soon the eagle that scratched like chicken, pecked like chicken, stop being chicken and fly like an eagle. You must stop being afraid and, and stop being Christian. I, I, you know, hear me? Because the Christian community is filled with all kind of chaos and atrocities. I heard that they are, they, I heard somebody told me that they are now very much in tune with prophecy. Yeah, I heard that they, everybody in a Christian church a prophet now, prophecy. Yeah. <laughs> really? We spent two months here talking about who is a prophet, am I right? Are you still listen to people who want to be like Isaiah and Jeremiah? You're sick of your head. I wonder if you hear me. I taught you. Remember, you know, the first prophet was Samuel. Samuel started the school, what you call the schools of prophet, which the curriculum was the five books of Moses. The laws and the prophet. When, it, when Samuel passed on, then Elijah came. Elijah was the principal of the president. When Elijah left, the mantle fell on Elisha. And those were powerful anointed prophets. Then you have Isaiah that is called the prince of prophets. Now all the prophets in the Old Testament prophesied from the five books of Moses and that they were actually prophesying about us. Are you there with me? They were actually prophesying about us. But the Bible said they tried to find out what they were prophesying about. They were prophesying about us and we want to be like them. And they have some old prophet, especially them down in Africa, who can't tell you if you eat grass. My name. And I am here giving you the word, the undiluted word of God. We don't preach about Samson, David, Gideon. We, it's not. They are good example, you know. But this age is about us. Uh, hello. Greater than they. Partnering with God. To usher in the kingdom of God. In the earth realm. Are you there with me? You're sure? You understand what I'm saying? So when you read about. Samson and the jawbone of one. You have greater power than that. Just that you're not, it's not in the physical. You have power in the spiritual. Which is Samson greater than Jesus? 
is Gideon greater than Jesus? No. And you are joined here with? That's not the point. That. Are you there with me? But if you don't believe that about yourself, who else is going to believe for you? God is not short, man. God is here to do for you. More than you ask, more than you think, more than you imagine, He can do it for you. Unfortunately, that the men that we are preaching today, we carry the mantle, I don't see them. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. What we have just read, 2 Peter 1 verse 3, God has given us all things. God has what? God is not giving you all things, you know. He already done it. Well, a little bit. Let me see if I can understand. Uh, but everyone, he has already done it. God has given us all things. For life and for what? You can have a good life and still be godly. So all that, all that Jesus has done, he has given the power to do that. You have been translated from under Satan's kingdom into the kingdom of the, of the Son of God. All right, so you are in that kingdom right now. Tell your neighbor you are in that kingdom right now. You are in that kingdom right now. The supernatural and the miraculous can operate through you. Okay, good. All right, Brother Ray. The Lord said I need to pray for you. you, you you're going to come, let me pray for you. All right. Yes, you. You're coming with your mother too. Yeah, man, Sister Brown. Come on. In the kingdom, there's no lock. Do you remember? Jesus was going someplace in a ship. He was going to the other side. And the Bible said there was a great what? Storm. And the great storm. And the boat was almost sinking. And Jesus was asleep. You remember? Do you remember that one? And they went and wake up Jesus and said, Lord, we are perishing. You don't care that we perish. Watch this. And Jesus stand up, get up. He rebuked the, the wind and the it means that he spoke to it. It means, shut up, calm down. That's what it means. And there was a great calm, remember? And then he turned to his disciples and said, where is your what? Is your faith? The Bible said they were astonished. The reason for that is because Jesus expect them to have calm this storm. They were astonished and saying, "What man of man? As my Father has sent me, so am I sending you." You understand what I'm saying here? You carry the power of God when you were born again. 
the spirit of God is in you you need to speak God that's what you were created for to speak I am strong in the Lord and in the power of his might we need some oh come on let me anoint so the Lord has sent hold out your hands in the name of the Lord Jesus was wounded for transgression, bruised for our iniquity, he was chastised for our peace, that means while he was on that cross, and with his wounds we are healed. So that was done from the time of the cross. So he took sins and he brought healing at the same time while he was on the cross. And so we lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And we speak on the authority of the word of God. Be healed. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed. Top of your head to the sole of your feet name of Jesus Christ. Mark chapter 16. After Christ came back from the grave, he said, Go and preach this gospel to every creation, to all creatures who ever believe and is baptized shall be saved. He that don't believe is down, and these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, they cast out devils, they lay hands on the sick. They shall recover, they walk upon serpents and scorpions. We don't care who threw up your yard, you, you walk upon it and trample upon it because of the, in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you there with me? So I lay hands on you and I speak to, the, to your body to be healed. I speak to your skeletal system to be realigned. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, be healed. Jesus said, my words, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall never pass. It shall take effect because it comes with power and it cannot be depleted of its power. Be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your name is healing. Your name is life. Break every strong, shine 
I just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. Thank you, Lord, because I know there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. If you're giving praise, you can't take back your mom. Till every dark conviction starts to break. Once you have the faith and belief. Jesus. Come on. Declaring there is hope and there is freedom. I speak Jesus. Your name is your name is power your name is healing your name is life once you are a believer the bible says nothing is impossible for he that believes do you believe that's right that's right have to be a believer. Do you believe? That's right. Because if you don't believe, power. God can't do anything for you. Your what you're doing is actually is something that has been done for you 2,000 years ago. You are right collecting that from the spiritual realm coming to your physical realm. Right? In the name of Jesus. Every stronghold shine through the shadows. Burn like a fire. Hallelujah. Go ahead, go ahead. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. The power Over of every God heart. is already inside. Over every heart and every mind. And they want to set free. It's already in there. Because I know that peace within your presence. Do you believe? I speak Jesus. Go on, let's do that one more time. Hallelujah. Say, I, I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Over every heart and every mind. Over, over every heart and every mind. Cause I know, cause I know, I know there is peace within your presence. I speak, I, I speak Jesus. I just want to speak, thank you Lord. I, I just, just want to speak the name of Jesus. Till every dark addiction, till every dark addiction starts to break. Declaring, declaring there is hope and there is freedom. I speak Jesus. Your name is, your name is Father. Your name is healing. Your name is life. Break every stronghold. Say, break every stronghold. 
Shine through the shadows Burn like a fire Your name is Your name is power Your name is healing Your name is life Break every stronghold Break every stronghold Shine through the shadows Burn like a fire I just want to speak the name of Jesus I just, I just want to speak the name of Jesus Over fear and all anxiety Come on, say Over, Over fear and all anxiety To every soul held captive To, to every soul held captive by depression I speak Jesus Your Jesus from the mountains, Jesus from the mountains, Jesus in the streets, oh, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy, Jesus for my, Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name. Jesus, Shout Jesus, Hallelujah. Shout Jesus from the mountains, Jesus in the streets. Oh, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my, Jesus for my family. I speak the holy name, Jesus. Your name, your name is power. Come on, sing church. Your name is healing. Your name is life. Break every, break every. Shine through the shadows, burn like a fire. Your name is, come on, your name is power, your name is healing, your name is life. Break every stronghold. Jesus from the mountain team. Jesus from the mountains. Hey. Jesus in the streets. Thank you, Lord. Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family. I speak the holy name. Jesus, your name is, your name is power, your name is healing, your name is life. Break every, 
Break every stronghold, shine through the shadows, burn like a fire. Your presence is heaven to me. Treasures of my heart and of, of my soul. Because in my weakness, in my weakness, you are merciful. Redeemer of my past and present. Wrong. Come on. Redeemer of my past and present. Wrong. Holder of my future days. Holder of my future days to come. Your presence. Your presence is heaven. Your presence, Lord, your presence, Lord, your presence is heaven to me. Come on, all my days on earth I will await. Come on, sing song song. All my days on earth I will await. The very moment that I see your face. The, the moment, moment that I see your face to face. Lord, nothing in this world. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Because Jesus, you're the cup. Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. Your presence. Your presence Lord your presence Lord your, your presence is heaven to me oh, and so we're singing oh Jesus oh Jesus Nothing in this world can satisfy. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Because Jesus, you're the cup. Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. Hallelujah. All my days on earth I will away. Come on. All, All my days on earth I will away. The moment that I see you face to face. The moment that I see you face to face. Power of God that heals. Nothing in this world. Nothing in this world can satisfy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. 
Come on, your presence. Your presence is heaven to me. Your presence, Lord, your presence, Lord. Your presence is heaven to me. And so we're singing, Oh Jesus, Oh Jesus, Your presence is heaven to me, Oh Jesus.
unfailing love unfailing love do anybody know that love this morning come on sing it out say stronger than mountain deeper than the ocean deeper than ocean
You are my healer, Lord. I declare it, say, Oh. Jesus. 
Spirit, rain.